Okay, when dealing with mouse events, there's a few that are very, very similar. Uh, the ones I'm talking about here are mouse enter and mouse leave, and mouse over and mouse out. Both mouse enter and mouse over talk about when you move your mouse over an object, and mouse leave and mouse out are when you leave that object. And on the, surfer, on the surface, they look very, very similar. So I have a web page here where I move my mouse over the first paragraph and it changes the border color. So, oh, sorry, got to focus on the page. There we go. So when you move your mouse over and out, over and out, using the mouse enter and mouse leave, it changes the color, writes out a message. If I come over here and do the same thing, it's the exact same behavior. This one's using mouse over, mouse out. This one's using enter and leave. So they're doing the exact same thing on the surface. It looks like the same thing. The difference is in how they handle bubbling. So I'll refresh this. Let's go take a look at the code and talk about some of the differences. So I have two divs, one with the class enter, one with the class over. And this first paragraph here and this first paragraph here are the ones that we're targeting with the events. So paragraph inside enter, I'm adding mouse enter and mouse leave, and then the paragraph inside of over, I'm adding the mouse over and mouse out. So enter and leave, over and out. Those are my four events that I'm working with. The code inside the functions for entering and leaving, overing and outing, is the exact same. I'm getting the current target, changing the border color to gold, and then back to black. Gold, back to black. I could use the same functions here, entering I could have used for both and outing I use for both the only difference is my console log I'm writing out just to show you that it is actually the different events that are having I want to track that in the console all right now the difference if I were to add event listeners to the div as well as the paragraph and this div as well as the paragraph so I'll come down here I've got them already written out so I can do this a little bit faster. There we go. So I have on the div with the class enter, I have a mouse enter and a mouse leave. And on the class over, the div with the class over, I have mouse over and mouse out. All right, so mouse over, same as mouse enter, mouse out, same as mouse leave if I was only dealing with this one object, but I'm dealing with the div and the paragraph that's inside of it. When I do a mouse out or a mouse leave, I'm removing a class called blue, and I'm writing out that I'm removing the class blue. When I enter or over, I'm adding the class blue. So this is just gonna change the background color to blue on the divs. So we've got the divs changing to blue and then back and the paragraph getting a gold border and then the border going back to black. So let's take a look and see what effect this has in the page. With the mouse enter and mouse leave. All right, I'm entering the div. The blue has been added. Now I'm going to enter the paragraph. All right, gold borders added. I've entered the paragraph. I'm leaving the paragraph and now I'm leaving the div. Seems straightforward enough. And quite possibly, this is the behavior that you're going to be looking for. But what happens over here with mouse over and mouse out? Okay, I've moused over. I've just called the one event. But now, when I leave the div and I go on top of the paragraph, it is seen as actually leaving the div and going over a new object. So here. I moused over the paragraph, and it's telling me that I've left the div, removed the blue, now I've moused over the paragraph, and then my mouse over event actually cascades back up to the div, and it puts the blue back in. So it removed the blue, added the gold border, and then put the blue back on the div. All three of those things are happening instead of just the one. Then when I leave this, so I've got four comments now, when I leave the paragraph, there we are, the last three lines there, mouse out of the paragraph, 
that cascades up to the div and it says mouse out on the div it removes the blue and then mouse over the div hey you've come back to the div puts the blue back so it's actually firing three things and then when I leave here that's when it only does the mouse out div remove the blue so a lot more is going on I come over here and I'm just gonna do the same thing on a mouse over once through here back back and back so these last four lines, that's with mouse enter and mouse leave. The same thing is being done with eight calls up above. And that's the difference. When you're dealing with mouse over and mouse out, you've got to deal with the bubbling of the event, as well as the fact that when you move from one HTML into a child or a parent HTML element, it's viewing that as a mouse over and mouse out event as well. So there's a whole bunch of extra that's going on. On the surface looks like the same thing but mouse enter and mouse leave are actually a little bit more efficient. Alright, any questions please leave them in the comments. As always, thanks for watching.